Hey guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Croc 2. In the last episode, we started the game and we took on the Dalantinis in a level of boat racing. Now, in this episode, we will do and do this level here, which is called Find the Key, Save the Gobbler. So he's locked up and hide key in a cave. So we need to go through and find the key in order to help out this poor trapped gobbler. We will have to head this way. So for this level you will need one orange jelly and one clockwork gobbo. I'm not exactly sure if the clockwork gobbo is to get the hundred clear crystals or for a coloured crystal because sometimes the items are not to get a coloured crystal. It's for just for clear ones. So first thing you want to do is you want to push this box down here because there is a crystal up in the tree. Which is sneaky, sneaky of them. So, this is a, a checkpoint. If you see a checkpoint, for the love of God, get it, because they will become absolutely important in later levels. I'm not sure it's just because I'm bad at games like this, but it's. I find them very helpful. Yes. So, time jumping is something I am bad at. Let's have a look how we go. Oh, well, I hurt myself doing that, but that's alright. There's a heart down here for our troubles. So those platforms there with the cracks in them will break if you stay on them too long. So you want to try and just keep... They normally give you enough time to sort of jump, stop, go again. So nothing too tricky yet. These first few levels are not too difficult anyway. Um, Getting the crystals and the golden gobbo can be difficult. I'm just bad at the game though, but we'll see how we go. You gotta watch as you come around these corners because they put some platforms there that could take a heart away. So you can't make this jump. I never like the ropes in this game because you either under jump or over jump. Well, I do. Wait. You gotta make sure you start just attacks early too because otherwise they will hurt you like that, but it's nothing too difficult yet. I mean these first few levels shouldn't cause you any dramas. Probably not until you get to the second village where you have any major difficulties. Well you should you might have some difficulties now and then but I don't need to kill you. You can live because I'm a kind hearted person. Because we're croc. We are a crocodile. So this level's nice and gives us a couple of checkpoints. I'm gonna kill this wasp because the noise is annoying. There's your second crystal, sorry, third. They sort of just give it to you, which is probably only for these first couple of levels where they ever have crystals just given to you like that. Because afterwards they're uh, hidden or in areas where you need items for. So yeah, as long as you sort of... S no enemies are too difficult, as long as you can time your attacks properly. We're gonna head... Oh, turn around camera. This is a spot for your clockwork gobbler. So when we go into our bag, we've got our clockwork gobbler jelly. So you only have a certain amount of time until basically it, you know, the clockwork gobbler no longer moves because it. But it's normally pretty easy to get everything. So this one was just for crystals. So if you're going for a hundred crystals you'll need a clockwork gobbo if you just want your coloured ones you can save yourself some crystals in that case and not need the clockwork gobbo but while I've got the money odd oh, the enemy respawned so this is a hippo apparently you can jump on them but I love this is uh, this game so many memories with this game it's just... oops croc croc what are you doing I mean, it's not the. It's, it's. I mean, most people were. Cause this is for PlayStation One, and this is like ten years ago. Most people were playing, you know, Spyro or Crash Bandicoot. I was playing. Cruel oh, Jesus. I was playing Croc. And um, also, if you fall on lava, if you stay on the lava too long, it will take you back to the checkpoint or the start of the level. So you need to get off lava straight away. But that is me demonstrating how you don't do that. 
Oops. That was me demonstrating how not to get that crystal. But that's okay because here we've got the key. This will be our last five crystals, I think. So there's a hundred heart and a, a hundred hearts, hundred crystals. So we got the heart now. These coloured spots tell you which sort of jelly you need. So I mean, when you're first playing through this game, it's not expected that you get all the crystals because without actually knowing. Okay, so once you get them all, near where you get the last your last crystal, this will come up. So we need to go to the sub level to get the golden gobbo. Like I said, if you die here, you have to do it all again. But luckily, we have all 100, 100 hearts. No, four hearts. Oh. We got our second golden gobber, and all we need to do now is head out here, free the poor little lost gobber, and we can complete this level, which I think we did a pretty decent job on. Thank you. He just tells us to use the door we came through, which is what we're going to do. Normally, once you beat a level, though, it'll take, it'll warp you straight out anyway. But we need to walk out of this one. We will get 100 crystals for that, and that gobbo will be happy and have a little golden gobbo on his head. So we need to head back to swap meet Pete, because for our next level, we are also going to need the same again. One clockwork gobbo one orange jelly. Make sure you buy the right jelly because it's expensive venture when you accidentally buy the wrong one. Oh, swap meet Pete. Your voice. <laughs> oh, one of you. So also we've got our heart pots over here for 250 crystals. Our three different jellies. So orange is the smallest, green the meat medium jump, red's the highest. When we unlock other villages, that will, we can go to Swap Meet Pete to go back to old villages or go to ones further ahead, and we want ourselves a clockwork gobbo. Uh, Pete, 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 I know what it is. Thank you, Pete. I will see you again shortly. But, um, and the thing with this game is you can only have nine heart pots. So, I found that really strange because by the time you sort of get to the third village, you've got all nine. At least I do because I'm very bad at this game. I need all the help I can get, but the fact is the levels continue to get harder, yet you can only stay on nine hearts. So, well, we better talk to you. Oh. This Gobbo is in big trouble. Because he did not protect the treasure, he fell asleep, and Dantini's come and they take the treasure and hide them in the scary mines. Because we are the Good Samaritan, we are going to help out poor little Gobbo here. Now, when I tried to record this last time, I had a lot of issues with getting the Golden Gobbo. I'm hoping that I'm not going to have the same issues now because I'd like to prove to you I am good at a game. So far, I have had many fails, but nothing too concerning. Now, this level is incredibly hard to get all 100 crystals in. But there's your first colored crystal. Because you need to be no, you kind of need to be preemptively know where they are and jump properly. So I'm not going to get 100 crystals in this. So you, these things become electrified. Jump over them anyway, because there's a good chance. Oh, much better than the last time I recorded this. I hit nearly every single one of these. Oh. I normally hit one. So here's another Clockwork Gobbo space. Again, I think this one is just full crystals. So we will collect them because... That's good. Um, you keep thinking you don't have long left, but it normally lasts for quite a while. Come here, heart. Well, this heart isn't too bad because there is actually a heart behind this first one we're going to get. Treasure chest. So again, you don't really need the gold, the clockwork gobbo in this level, but I kind of to make sure I buy the right things. I'm actually just seeing what you need to get like everything. That way I can just show you. Oops. 
So what you need to do is when you're running, it's very hard, but when you jump, you go quite far. But in order to avoid all that, just run off the edge. Ooh. Very carefully run off the edge of that one. Pick up a heart if you need it, because I do. If we head back here, they give us a nice little balloon, which will take us back up to the start. So, so if you fall off on one of these Whee! treadmills, it, they have given you a safety net here, which is very nice of them. And so they should be. It's only the first, one of the first levels in the game. But this game gets deceptive incredibly hard. I'm not sure if it's just I'm bad at the game, um, but until you get to the next village, you shouldn't have too many issues. This village is normally easiest to get through. I know myself, the hardest level so far for me is Kaboom, it's Roger Red Ant. That ant, he is a little arsehole. So that's the green crystal that I went and missed. Um, so you can turn yourself... Once we get to the end, I'll head back and I'll grab it because... I'm doing 100%. I want at least 100% the first village. Because it's easy enough to do. Maybe the second one. We'll see. Uh, so it's around this... There we go. Time jumps. You'll soon learn I'm not good at time jumps. There's a lot of timing of your jumps in this game. So while we head back, I'm just going to get a drink of water because it's very hot today. My throat is very dry. I mean, I could have gotten those crystals there, but you don't need to control the cart. Um, just left, right, and jump. Alright, so... Another little platforming thing here. These bomb boxes will explode if you stay on them too long. Well, they will explode either way once you touch them, so you cannot stay on them too long. But just easy enough. I can do it, so if I can do it, everybody else can do it. I mean, so I don't collect all 100 crystals all the time, because, I mean, you could lose a lot of hearts trying to get all the crystals but collect the ones you can because there are a lot of things you can buy with your crystals even if you're not 100%ing the game heart pots are handy I think there's a crystal here on this track nope I oh, know it's along here we've got some more Platform, another thing that's going to test your platform. Oh no, it's on the other side. There's another one where it's like time jumping over lava. Not great at it. Oh Jesus, don't over jump it because I've over jumped it many a time before. Okay, so we're going to head around here. You don't want to be hit by that because it'll push you straight into the lava. Now instead of going back around, we want to hop off on this side because there's another crystal over here that we need to get. Yep. Easy now. These jumps, the scam. Ah, uh, so you can't see it yet, but... Oh no, hang on. What? Alright, up. 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 Oh my god, jump, crop, jump. I'm not sure whether it's my controller X button or I'm not pushing the button hard enough, but... Ugh. There's another crystal on this track. This is where it is. So there's some curvy bits and a straight bit. And there's going to be another curvy bit. And around this curve, there's your third coloured crystal. And it took me like six goes to get that last time. Which sent us back here, so now we've just got this side to do. How many hearts have I got? Two. I have to live with two hearts because that's all I've got. So this one is another crystal on this track, I believe. Maybe. So it's easy enough to get the crystals there. I'm just bad at this. So this one. Oh, this is where I die a lot. You'll soon see what I mean by why I don't like these ropes. I mean, in that case, it was okay. Because I didn't overjump anything. Um, in this case, I may overjump it. Because, see, the gap's only short. 
So if, if you fling yourself off, it's going to make you lose your hearts. So for some reason there's a gobo in the mines. I'm not sure what he's doing here, but he's going to get us another treasure chest because he's a nice little fella like that. So also in collecting missions, as you might see, we get you get crystals from actually collecting the items that you have to. So, um, where is this? Oh, I don't think that's that's a clear one. So that's okay. That's a clear one. That's a clear one. So we've got one more treasure chest to get, and two more crystals, which will be here. This is a nice little testing test of your platforming abilities. Time jumping over lava. Something, uh, this is a test I might, f damn it, fail. So when you lose all your hearts, you'll just ask if you want to continue. We do. And we need to go back and complete the level again. But I will do that and I will see you where I died in the next episode. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.